sure you make the most out of your time ashore. All the fabulous excursions on offer. Please welcome our destination services manager, Samantha, also from Liverpool. Woo! I'm sure you've already worked out the role of uh, the next gentleman I'll be introducing. He's in charge of all the food, uh, making sure you all go home like myself with a few extra pounds at the end of your cruise, and an excellent chef in his team, the 67 chefs and cooks. So it's a big responsibility, doing a great job. Please welcome our executive chef, Jerome, from the Philippines. I'm sure you've noticed the cleanliness on board the ship as well, not just in the public areas, but of course in your cabins. The guys are always cleaning, even when there's nothing to clean up, they're still hoovering at 4am in the morning. Seriously, non-stop overseeing this department. Please welcome our Chief Housekeeper, Blaze, from India. Next up is the lady in charge of the team down on deck for midship. It's our reception, open 24 hours a day. And it doesn't matter if it's during the day or in the middle of the night, the team, always someone there to pick the phone or someone you can speak to face to face. Please welcome our guest relation manager, Danielle from Manchester. We move on to the money man, the gentleman who's in charge of all the finance here on board. He also is the one who gets us port clearance, so constantly liaising with Shoreside, making it possible that we can actually explore a show. Please welcome our chief person, down from Newport, South Wales. <laughs> now, safety on any ship is paramount. It's our number one priority here on board this ship, and the next officer is not just responsible for over 1,200 guest safety, but for over 500 crew members' safety as well. We do safety training every single day, doing an excellent job. He's not too happy at the minute regarding his football team. Please welcome our safety officer, Martin, from Hull. Should have been not even for him. Sorry, Martin. Next up, the man who works very, very closely with our executive chef, our bar manager as well, working uh, most of the time behind the scenes, making sure we never run out of food and drink. Please welcome our food manager, recently returned from his vacation, Turgut from the United States. Next up, the largest department on board, over 400 crew members in this one department, so it's a huge responsibility. It requires an eagle eye, certainly the best man for this job. Please welcome our hotel manager, Craig, from Warrington. Most <laughs> popular. Okay, we move on to a gentleman I enjoyed having a drink with him last night, actually. Normally, I don't really get to see too much of him because he works down in our engine room, making sure everything's running, the propellers, the engine, keeps it all running like a well-oiled machine. Please welcome our chief engineer, PK, from India. We continue to the right-hand man of the captain, his second in command, a master mariner. He really is in charge of all the security, the safety, doing a brilliant job and can take control of the vessel at any given time. He often takes it in turns with the captain to drive. Please welcome our staff captain, Alex, from the Ukraine. <laughs> And finally, the reason we're all here, his name is on the invitation, the man who's at the top of the tree, the master of this beautiful ship. Please, without further ado, let's welcome him to the stage. It's Captain Hugh. Thank you, Paul. Well, a very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Are you all well? Well, you look absolutely splendid as you came through the door. And thank you for your patience and waiting in that long line. But hopefully, hopefully it's now all worth it. Yeah? Most people say, yes, of course it's worth it. Anyway, um, I, a little bit about myself. I started on the, uh, on the ship in 2005, when we took the ship over from Holland America originally. And uh, worked my way out from safety officer up to uh, staff captain and then captain. Then I went across to Thompson Dream for four years. So I was on there as captain as well. 
and now back here again. And I personally think this ship is really lovely, and I hope you do too. So let's give a big round of applause to the Thompson Celebration. <laughs> Thank you very much. She very much appreciates that. Um, so, a little bit, um, I'm originally an Essex boy. Yes, and a few people are from, in from Essex tonight, I know that. Um, I don't live in Essex anymore. I'm now resident of the United States of America. Is there anybody in from Jackson Hole, Wyoming tonight? No? I would have known because you would have left your horse tied up outside. Anyway, I've lived out there for about 30 years, um, but still an Englishman at heart, and I'm thinking about moving back if Donald Trump wins the election, so... <laughs> yeah. So, um, anyway, I'm just one of over 500 crew, not including this fine-looking team behind me. Look at them all, all shiny and bright and pink, just got out of the shower. Lovely. <laughs> But we also have all of our housekeepers, which I know you love. You get up to use the bathroom in the middle of the night and come back to bed, bed to be made with a towel sculpture on the pillow. And of course, all of our waiters and waitresses and bar staff, etc., etc., and all the folks you see front of house. But for those you don't see, down in PK's engine room, giving this big floating hotel of ours from A to B, and in the galley cooking all this lovely food, um, let's give them a big round of applause as well. Thank you very much. So, what a lovely day today, wasn't it? Absolutely perfect. It's why, you know, why we all come to sea. Fair winds, following seas, wildlife. I don't know if there are any or ornithologists amongst you, um, but we've had booby birds flying around the ship today. Those were the birds that go after the flying fish. And we also saw, I saw a, um, a tropic bird. Anybody see a white bird with a long tail? Yeah. Yeah. That's a tropic bird, or well, we call those um, bosun birds, actually, because they make the sound like a bo bosun's whistle. So there you go. Anyway, we'll be in um, Aruba tomorrow, the Peron morning. We are sharing the port, like I mentioned uh, today at lunch. We, uh, we're sharing it with the free winds, which, uh, as I say, they're all Scientologists, so we probably won't see too much of them. So don't worry about it. We are sharing it with another ship called the Monarch, but I don't think it can be too busy in Aruba tomorrow. And then after that, off to Wilmstadt. You'll, you'll love Wilmstadt if you've never been there before. It's a beautiful, typical little Dutch-style town on this island. And we go right up into the middle of the town and we'll be berthed alongside um, there. And then off to Kralendijk in Bonaire. Then back to St. George's and then back to Barbados where it all began for you. Sadly, you will, some of you will be going home. But uh, we're, we're also nearing the end of our winter season now. And they've got another few weeks before we head back across to uh, the Mediterranean, where we'll be based in Dubrovnik um, for the summer season. Um, I can recommend that cruise, it's beautiful up there. Um, looking even further ahead, we'll be in the Persian Gulf next winter, because the new ship, the Thompson Discovery, is going to take over our itinerary here in the Caribbean. So Persian Gulf, and then summer after that, we'll be running out of Newcastle again. So everybody happy with that? Yes, so that's, that's what we've got in store. Anyway, without further ado, I'm sure you're all hungry. Thank you, Mary Lou. We're going to have a little toast. So, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your evening and have a lovely cruise. Cheers. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, that's an act to the stage. Round of applause for Captain Hugh, his senior officers, and heads of development. There we have it, you can put a name to a face and if there's anything we can do to enhance your cruise please do not hesitate to let myself or uh, one of the people you've just been introduced I won't keep you waiting much longer because the race to the restaurant has already started Don't worry, there's enough food, there's enough chairs to go around and what's quite funny, they obviously don't realise they don't open the restaurant until I get off the stage 